Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Smash and the Switch. Since E3 has ended, many people were left disappointed after Smash was not mentioned in the slightest. After all the supposed quote unquote leaks, such as the four images that were faked and stuff like the EB Games Smash Switch placeholders, it was a rather disappointing Nintendo E3 for avid Smash fans. People were excited in anticipation of there being a port for Smash 4 revealed at E3, or even a new Smash game entirely. Unfortunately, we of course didn't get any of that. Now that E3 is over, where do we go from here? Well, if we look back at previous Smash games, we'll see that the original Smash for N64 was released in 1999, Melee was released in 2002 in North America, Brawl was released in 2008, and Smash 4 was released in 2014. Since Melee, if we follow this logic of a new Smash game every 6 years, maybe we're looking at a Smash 5 in 2020. Of course, this is just speculation, we don't know how long the Switch will last, when a next gen console will arrive, but in the past, all of Nintendo's home consoles since the N64 have had a Smash game. Does this also potentially imply that Switch will have its own original Smash? It's hard to say really. Let's take a look back at Smash 4's history. We can see that they revealed that there was a new Smash in production at E3 2011, and officially announced it at E3 2013. Many people, including me, would be happy just to have a Smash 4 port onto the Switch, with maybe some extra content. Again, we can't really predict this, we're only going off of what's happened in the past. However, so far, we have gotten many part 2's of games that were on the Wii U on the Switch, such as Pokken Deluxe, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and of course we have new games like ARMS. People have also been mentioning that maybe Nintendo wants ARMS to succeed, so they are delaying Smash so that it doesn't take away from ARMS success. This is another interesting possibility. Then again, after the last of the Smash 4 DLC was revealed, Sakai mentioned he is done with Smash Bros for the time being and wanted to work on other projects. Of course, this doesn't mean Smash is dead forever. Sakurai could always come back, or Nintendo could work on it without him. This is interesting because Sakurai always wanted this game to be a casual experience. With Nintendo's new Twitter, Nintendo Vs, we can see that they've begun to be more open to esports in general. Speaking of Nintendo Vs, their original Twitter banner had 4 slots, which showed Pockin, Splatoon, and ARMS, and there was still an empty spot. People were saying that the empty spot was going to be Smash, but of course that didn't happen, and now they updated the Twitter banner with just the Nintendo logo in that space. Was that spot just to tease us? It's hard to say what Nintendo's thinking, as they never fail to surprise their fans. At any rate, my eyes are going to stay peeled open in anticipation of any sort of Smash news from Nintendo. Do you guys know about any rumors or something about Smash for the Switch that I just missed out on? Let me know in the comments below, and just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching!